Game of Thrones is my favorite show. But you know what show is even better? The show! Uh so we're gonna talk about a new type of map. But we're gonna start somewhere familiar, which is the normal, classic, good old functor. This has the map transformation, which you already know since forever. I've talked about it in my older, even worse videos. You've used map yourself on arrays, lists, promises, I.O., either. So in order to get started, let's just recall the little story you tell yourself when you read the abstract data type for map. You look at this and you say, okay, what do we have here? A function from A to B. I'm also given a structure of A and I have to return a structure of B. So you look at the structure of A and you say, I'm gonna grab the A. So you grab the A. So now you have an A. Great. But you need to return a structure of B. I can transform this A into a B. So you grab the function, transform the A, and now you have a B. And because now you have a B, you can put this B into a structure. And guess what? Now you have a structure of B. Perfect story. But... What if I misbehave, just like the villain in Game of Thrones? What if I come here into the type signature to the first argument and switch this around so now it's a function from B to A? Now what happens when you try to read it? Okay, so this is a function from B to A. And this is a structure that has an A. And I have to create a structure that has a B. So I'm gonna grab the A from this structure. And now I have an A. Okay. So now I'm gonna convert this A to... Uh, uh, this function takes a B. But I have an A. I can't call this function. And even if I could, it would just give me another A. What the hell? Now I'm gonna have two A's? But I have to return a structure of B? Where am I going to get a B from? Where am I going to get a... But seriously, this makes no sense. This is like that episode of Game of Thrones when they were like, Winter is cold, my dear Frodo. And Frodo was like, oh no, cold, bad. And you have to get ready because the White Walkers are coming for everyone. And Frodo was like, oh no, that's bullshit, man. And the wizard was like, you need to kill them with a bee. And Frodo was like, but where am I gonna get a bee from? Where am I gonna get a bee from? And so the question is, why does it not make sense? Which brings us to the metaphor you used for thinking. I have a structure of A, so I take the A out of the structure and stop. This is what needs to change. What do you mean? I mean, there is no A to take out of the structure. The contravariant functor is not for what this structure gives. But where am I gonna get a B from? You, you, you don't. Just keep listening, okay? The contravariant functor is actually for what the structure takes. So in the beginning, we assumed that the A in F of A and the B in F of B were things that the structures produced. But no, when we're talking about the contravariant functor, these are things that the structures consume. All right, so now get ready because here comes the real story, like in that episode of Game of Thrones. So we say that Frodo has a structure that consumes A's. But, he needs a structure that consumes bees. And the way he solves this problem, in this case, is to go and find some kind of adapter. 
that he's gonna put right in front of the structure. And then take a step back, look at the whole thing, and say, Oh my god, James, this is a structure that consumes a bee, man. This is a structure that consumes a bee. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. We are the best band in the world. And you have a name, and I have a bee. You give me an F of A. I give you an F of B.